So y'all should be able to sit there, listen to me, respond back, and be following the instructions and being in tune with what's going on. That's my expectation for y'all, all right? Because I know y'all expecting me to give y'all something great, too. So fist in the air like this. Fist up. There you go. I love it. I love it. When I say fist up, that means there's something that you have to say. There's something that you have to repeat after me. It's an important, important message. It's an important term that y'all need to get. The first one is talking about me. <laughs> Trick y'all. Again, y'all know who I am, Brock Jones. I am a reporter, international recorded performing artist. I get to travel the world doing music and concerts and shows. There's some footage there. I do play guitar. Didn't bring it today, but I do do that. But I'm also a nonprofit business owner that focuses on mentorship of youth and young adults. And that's the Transformers movement that you see there. And I'm blessed to be able to do that. Those are good dreams that God allows me to live out. And that's my beautiful family. Y'all say, aww. aww. Yeah, man. So that's my beautiful queen, Dominique, beside me. Next to her is Sanaya. She's six. Chloe behind her with her tongue out. She's four. And my son, Savion, is 12, one on 13. So I have, and I do talk to teenagers. I talk to kids y'all age all the time. Matter of fact, I was even your age at one point in time. No, it don't seem like that, right? What? You know what I mean? How could that be, right? So I've been where you've been. I've been through things that you've been through. And I'm here to tell you today that your first point is, fist up, confidence. Everybody say confidence. Confidence. Say it like you mean it. Confidence. Confidence. There you go. Now give me one person with their fist up that'll turn that fist to a hand and tell me what confidence means. My man right here. Yeah, stand up and tell me what confidence means. Enough bravery to do something that you wouldn't normally do. Let me get, let me get my man right here with your hand up. Yes, sir, you too. Wow, you getting ahead of the game. You all, you seen my presentation before? You been in my presentation? Come on, bro. You all in my presentation. There you go. It's the bravery to do something. It's the focus and drive to do something. I like those definitions. Y'all look close. What confidence is, is a feeling of self-belief in yourself. It's a feeling of belief and assurance that your gifts, your talents, your personality, who you are from the top of your head to your pinky toe, is good enough. From the top of your head down to your pinky toes, that you are good enough. Everybody put your hand on your heart right here. There you go. Yeah, beat it out if you need to. Yeah. Say, and I want you to say this, say, say, I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Now that sounds corny sometimes saying that. I believe in myself. I believe, but really and truly, if we be honest, a lot of times we don't believe in ourselves. A lot of times we don't tell ourselves enough that I'm good enough, that I'm not a failure, that I'm strong, I'm beautiful, I'm a success. And a lot of times when we do that, we kill off our confidence because we let everybody else around us tell us if we're good enough or not. There's a such thing called bullying, and when bullying happens, it makes the next person feel like they're not good enough, and it takes their confidence away. Do y'all know what bullying is? Yeah. Well, bullying takes away the confidence of somebody else, and most of the time, the person that's trying to do the bullying is probably not confident in themselves, so they feel like they gotta put somebody else down to make themselves feel confident. But you don't have to do that, and you don't have to get treated like that in order to believe and put your hand on your heart and your chest and say, I'm good enough, I'm more than enough, and I have confidence in myself that everything in me is great. And I'm looking y'all in y'all's eyes and I'm telling you that you are great. And some of y'all have a hard time believing that because you've been told that you're a mistake. Because you've been told that you're not good enough. Sometimes y'all have a hard time believing that, and I have a hard time believing that because of the mistakes that I have made, the tests that I did not pass, the teams that I did not make, the songs that I wrote that nobody sung with me, and it makes me feel like I'm a mistake because maybe they don't like my song, maybe they don't, da, da. all the things that come to take our confidence away, we have to be intentional about telling ourselves that I am good enough and that my confidence is secure. And I don't have to prove that to anybody except for myself. 
Because we're going to make mistakes, y'all. Raise your hand if you ever made a mistake. If you have never made a mistake, keep your hand down because we want to learn from you and you should be up here speaking today. Look around. Everybody look around. Everybody's hand is up. Because everybody has made a mistake before, including myself. But I'm here to tell you one thing. You made a mistake, but you are not a mistake. We make mistakes, but we're not mistakes. We fail, but we're not failures. So I'm looking at everybody in the room and I'm telling yourself to stop telling you to tell yourself, I'm not telling myself I'm a failure anymore. I'm not telling myself I'm not good enough anymore. My mistakes are not who I am, it's something that I do and it's something that I learn from. Teachers, do y'all agree? Yes. Students, do y'all agree? Yes. Now, does making a mistake feel good? How does it feel? Y'all talk to me, because I don't want to just be the one lecturing. Y'all talk to me. How does it feel? Guilty? Guilty? You feel guilt, right? So, ooh, he said self-conscious about yourself. ooh -wee. You know what that means? You know what that means? See, now, see, now, don't do that, because now you're trying to attack his confidence. Don't do that. We're supporting today. Tell him. Tell him to tell. Tell him what it means. Tell him what it means. Build each other up. Sit. It means that you think you're nervous. You think, I hope I don't mess up. I hope I don't make a mistake. I hope I, oh, I messed up last time, so I think I might mess up this time. And you begin to think that you're going to mess up all the time. That's exactly what that means. Good answer. Good answer. Um, how does it make you feel? I mean, behind, behind you, I'm sorry, behind you. How does it make you feel? Exactly. And guess what? Everybody's felt that because everybody's hand went up. That's what mistakes do to us. But what mistakes can do for us, once we get past the feeling and emotion, is it gives us a chance to learn and grow from what we messed up in. A mistake is not the end of you. It's not the end of your chance. It's not the end of your opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to, for you to learn from where you messed up and begin to elevate. What, is this, what do elevators do? Right? So when you want to go up, you gotta rise up. Now mistakes bring you down. Oh, I'm hoping I don't mess up again. I'm sad. Da, 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 da. And it brings you down. But we're trying to elevate. So don't let your mistakes define you, but let's elevate and learn and grow from our mistakes because our confidence tells us we can. Our confidence tells us we should. Our confidence tells us that we're not failures. We're learning and growing from everything that we go through. Everything that we go through. Fist up in the air. Fist up in the air. Cross the room. Fist up in the air. Somebody say determination. determination. Somebody say determination. determination. That's right. Somebody tell me what determination is. I got some words on the board, but tell me in your own words. Determination. What does determination mean to you? Uh, let me get somebody. Let me get baby girl right here. Yeah, yeah, you with the, with the beautiful dreads. I see you. I'm a dreaded too. You know what I mean? Determination means you can do anything you want to do if you believe, if you believe in it. My man in the back, back here. Yeah, yeah, back in the back. All right, so determination, it means to, um, so determination means to like not give up and keep going. Not give up and be bold. Look at him. I see you, boy. I see you. Great answer. Determination means to not give up and to be bold. Do I have any quitters in here? Hey, it's fine if you want. You don't have to give me the right answer. You can be honest. Do I have any quitters? Have you quit before? I, I have too. I have too. But you don't have to quit. You can begin to change your mind about quitting and say, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to be determined to be focused to keep going forward even when I make mistakes. Because if I learn from those mistakes the next time, I put my determination behind it and my confidence behind it, I'll probably win next time. I'll probably get it done next time. I'll probably be successful next time. I probably won't uh, cry and be sad and, and be self-conscious and be anxious, but I'll probably overcome all of those fears and be a champion after that. Or you can choose to quit and then you never know how much power you have inside of you. I don't know what y'all want to do. 
but I want to see how powerful I am. I want to see how far I can go. I want to see how successful I can be. I want to see what's inside of me that I never knew was inside of me. See, <laughs> confidence and determination are just words. These words have meaning, but these words only have meaning if you take them inside of your heart and you put them inside of your head and you begin to think about those meanings and tell yourself what they mean to you and make it personal. That's when it becomes effective in your life and that's when it makes a difference in your life. It's all about how we think. So everybody put your fingers to your mind right here. And say, it's not about how I feel, but it's about what I think about myself. Do you, do you believe, bro? Yeah. You believe? You believe what I'm saying? Because this right here is going to change your life. <coughs> if you tap in with it. So sit up. Sit up straight like that. And take it in because I already know that you got gifts in you. And talents in you. That's why you're on the front row. Because you're a leader. And everything right here that I'm saying to you, that God positioned me here to say to you and everybody else, is because he knows that there's things inside of you in this room that's going to change your life and your family's life and your brother and sister's life and your grandparents' life forever. If you take these jewels and these nuggets and get this confidence and get this determination and begin to overcome every fear that's in your life, you will be the success story that everybody talks about. You will, if you believe it. Change your thinking. Change your mind frame. Begin to focus. Begin to tap into confidence and determination. Not giving up, not throwing a towel. Our thinking most of the time is what messes us up, man. Fist up in the air. Everybody say, no more stinky thinking. No more stinking thinking. Say it like you mean it. No more stinking thinking. No more stinking thinking. Now grab your nose like this. Just say, Ooh. Come on, man. Who did that? Who did that in here, man? Come on, bro. <laughs> hey. No more negative thinking. No more bullying. No more telling yourself you're a failure. No more telling yourself you suck. No more looking in the mirror and saying, I don't like my hair, I don't like my face, I don't like my skin color, I don't like my weight, I'm too big, I'm too skinny, I'm too short, I'm too tall, I'm too this, I'm too that. That's all stinking thinking. That's all a negative mindset. That's all a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset is, this is always how it's going to be. I'm never going to be good enough. I'm never going to grow out of this. I'm never going to get better. This is what it is, and this is the way my life is going to be forever. That is not the case. But it's all about what you think about yourself and your environment around you. And I don't want you guys to have a mindset of this is, this is what it is. Because you'll never feel like you're good enough. You'll never feel like you'll win. You'll begin to have all these negative thoughts that turn into the sadness and the anxiety and the depression. And then it turns into bullying and negative behavior. And then it turns into a pattern and a cycle that makes you makes it harder and harder to get out of. And we can stop it right now by shifting into confidence and determination. Y'all feeling what I'm saying? Y'all catching what I'm throwing? Okay. I hope y'all are, man. Because this is what we want. We want a growth mindset. Somebody say growth mindset. Growth mindset. We want a mindset that says, I don't want fear. It says that I want confidence. I want determination. This is what I want y'all to have. Y'all repeat after me. I want you to have an attitude that learns to be great. I want to have an attitude that says, I'm not afraid of challenges. Have an attitude that says, I'm not a quitter. Have an attitude that says, I'll learn from correction. Now, isn't that a hard one? Do y'all like being corrected? Nobody does. But I want you to have an attitude that learns from correction, not resists or rejects it, because correction comes to get you on the right path. I want you to have that attitude because when you have a 
dream and a goal in mind for your life, all of these keys play a role. What do keys do? All of these keys unlocks the doors to where you want to go and what you want to be in your life. Just shout out right now in your, in your mind, if you have it in your mind, think about it. What do you want to be, what you want to accomplish, what you want to do with your life? And if you're confident enough, just say it out loud right now. Just say it out loud. It don't, it's no order, you don't have to raise your hand, just say it. Yeah. There you go. Keep doing it. If you haven't said nothing, don't feel bad. If you don't know, don't feel bad. It's all right. Cool. Cool. Now, some of y'all out there, hey, everybody, bring it down now. Bring it down. Some of y'all out there are better singers and rappers than I am. I know y'all are. I know y'all are. Right? I know y'all Some of y'all are artists, photographers, painters. Some of y'all are engineers, doctors. Some of y'all are gonna write movies and play sports and be teachers and build schools and, and, and do all kinds of great things. You have all these dreams, right? These dreams combined with these keys I'm giving you, combined with the faith to believe that exactly who you are, exactly who God made you to be right now is good enough and more than enough, is gonna be your platform to, to the success airport of launching off and taking flight in your life. Will you dream big with me? Did y'all know that I performed in over three countries? I'm talking about outside of America and other countries. I've been to South Korea and performed in South Korea. I've been to the Philippines and performed on stage in the Philippines. I've been on tour, I've done my own tour last year. I took faith in myself and believed in myself that I could headline my own tour and take it to different cities and do my own tour. And Miss Cummins will just testify because she came to a couple of my shows. I'm just a small town kid from Pittsburgh, Texas that don't have 20% of what y'all have in Dallas Fort Worth. I came from nothing. I came from the mud. I got it out the mud, man. But I didn't even dream of doing this when I was your age. Never knew it. God laid it on my heart to do it, and I began doing it a few, 10 years ago. I've been doing music 10 years ago now. And he's taken me around the world doing it, and it's because of these things I'm telling you right now. So I'm not just reading through a book and reading out some things to you. I'm giving you my life today in fifth and sixth graders. I don't think I'm the pinnacle of success, but I know where I could be, and I know where I am, and I know I'm standing here for a reason to tell you that if I can do it, and if I can receive these principles from God and live them out and let it manifest in my life to a beautiful family, a beautiful career, and two organizations and businesses that help other people and generate financial income, as well as go and do concerts around the world, empowering people and motivating people to be great, then how much more can you do when you're standing here at 10 and 11 years old getting these same principles? that I didn't have until I was in my 20s. How much more great are you gonna be than me? How much more great is you gonna be than your father or your mom or your sister or your brother or your uncle when you sit here tapping in right now this morning and getting all these dreams and these keys that's gonna open so many doors for your life? Dream big, be determined, be confident. Look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're enough, you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're strong, you're powerful. You have gifts and talents in you that are greater than anything you've ever experienced before. But you're a powerhouse. And you were built for success. Yeah. I knew y'all was gonna tap in with this. Listen, I got I got I got one more principle I'm gonna give y'all. And then I want to kind of open it up to maybe some questions before I end, and I'm wrapping up with this. Any video game players in the house? I like everyone. He's like, nah, I kind of sometimes. Right? Now listen, all right, who, who plays Fortnite? All right, all right, all right. All right. Who, play, who plays Smash Brothers? All right, all right. Anybody play Madden? 2K? All right. Now listen, what, what are we talking about today? What, what are we talking about? What are these two words I keep talking about? Ooh. So, I know I'm going to have some, 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 
I ain't gonna say that. Hold on. All right. <laughs> so when you first played Fortnite, when you first, hold on, hold on, hey, hold on, hold on. When you first played Fortnite, when you first played Smash Bros. for the first time ever, uh, were you the greatest ever? Okay. 
But hey, they said that was the last question. I'm sorry uh, for time's sake. We gotta shut down. But I hope I hope that what I gave y'all was, was was beneficial and good. Was it good to you? Yeah. Good. That's a victory for me. Man. Thank y'all. Love you guys.